हेलो व्यूज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज रंजराज एंड यूर स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन दी स्टडी बीस्ट सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज बेस्ड ऑन अ कम्प्लीटली न्यू फील्ड दैट इज दी कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो दिस कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स इज मेनली यूज इन दी वर्चुअल रियालिटी एंड मेनी मोर डेफिनेशन लाइक यू कैन डू दी एनिमेशन एंड दी एफेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दी थ्री डी एफेक्ट्स विच यू सी इन दी मूवीज आर ऑल कंसिडर अंडर दिस डोमेन दैट इज दी कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स so let us see what is this computer graphics the actual definition of this that cg mainly consists of the various objects and the mathematical procedures the algorithms for constructing the pictures on the screen and taking the picture definition as its input and returns the display picture as its output so this everything the entire thing based on the computer graphics is based upon the mathematical concept that you follow like uh, basically we have the slope the y intercept x intercept also the circles also so all these things together constitute the computer graphics so there is a small diagram depicting this uh, definition like it will take pd that is the picture definition as its input it will fed into a cg engine or a machine and it will produce the display picture so uh, this picture definition is mainly dependent upon the following parameters that is the size the shape of the object the physical properties in fact the view positions from different angles the view ports which you define the directions the x intercept y intercept the z intercept also the light sources which have a major effect on this the texture which it is getting so this diagram mainly depicts of a computer screen Uh, so this computer screen is divided into many and many number of horizontal and vertical slices so these slices in terms of computer graphics is defined as pixels that is the picture element which is a very smallest unit of a graphics so uh, this pixels is mainly responsible for holding your uh, camera while shooting the uh, various scenes uh, you can see that 8 megapixel shooter 2 megapixel shooter or 24.2 30 mega point to that all these pixels are basically classified under this computer graphics so the uh, detail of this pixels or the number of pixels that you get from each of this small and small blocks uh, it should be very clear in order to depict the picture so all these things basically depends upon the pixels next we move on to the line drawing algorithms so uh, in like the other fields like in the artificial intelligence in the big data analytics we had many algorithms and so in computer graphics we also have some algorithms which are called as the line drawing algorithms we also have the circle drawing algorithms eclipse or the ellipse drawing algorithms and so uh, these algorithms uh, takes two things as input like two end points it has that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 and the equation y is equal to mx plus c that is the slope intercept equation so these two inputs it takes in order to define a line and to construct it into the computer screen so there are two main cases uh, depending on this line drawing algorithms which are if the slope of the line which is m in this case if it is less than 1 then you have to sample along the x axis at a unit interval means at a steady interval of 1 second you have to unit at unit interval so this diagram depicts uh, the slope of line less than 1 so as you can see uh, x1 x2 are two points on the x axis and y1 y2 are the two points on the y axis so there are many other intermediate points between x1 and x2 there are millions and millions of points so we sample these points as and when the line progresses and so we get a straight line this is the mathematical equation which sits here that is y is equal to mx plus c so this is the slope of the line when it is less than 1 that is we sample along the x axis so the second condition of the second case is that when the slope of the line if it is greater than 1 then we have to sample along the y axis at unit interval so this diagram <coughs> just slides above which is x1 x2 and y1 y2 as above now here in this case we have to sample along the y axis like many more sample intervals are in between and so we draw a line that is the progressive line which is depicted by this red color so this is the mathematical equation that we get that is x is equal to y minus c by m 
just interchanging the above equation we get the intercept for the x-axis so this is all about the introduction to computer graphics in my next video i will discuss regarding the line drawing algorithms like there are many other algorithms like the dda digital differentiation algorithm the Bresenham's algorithm circle drawing algorithm and many more so hope you enjoyed this introductory video to computer graphics if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video